Okay, salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So good day again, boys and girls. What do we need to do today? Is um we need to solve for the um examples of direct variation. Okay, so um let's start with our lesson by um reading our first example being if y varies directly as x and y is equal to 6 and when x is equal to 4, find y when x is equal to 4. Now, in this kinds of example, it's already translated um, the word, okay, the word problem is already written here. You just simply need to translate this one in a mathematical equation, okay? And that is what we have discussed in our previous videos, that you need to translate this one into the formula equation of that specific variation. And if we have this one, y varies directly as x, we can write it down as y varies directly as x. Okay, so this is the first step of solving for your um, direct variation, knowing the formula equation. The next step is, of course, knowing what is missing. Okay, you will know what is missing if and only if you, can, you are able to list down properly your values. Okay, so let's list down the values that you, you have already y sub 1, I placed a y sub 1 here because there would be two values of y that you will solve, uh, that you will have, okay? So, definitely, the first value of y would be y sub 1. Next, we have x sub 1, which is 4. So, again, I placed the sub 1 there because your x is 2, dalawa siya. So, that you will not be confused, the very first given that will be provided to you will be your sub 1. Next, your y sub 2 is missing. And your x sub 2 is given as 12. Okay? And lastly, we have this what we call the k. You will notice that when I write the k, it's just simply plain a plain k. Walang sub 1, walang sub 2. Because k is known as the constant of variation. Constant siya. And constant of variation being that is um, it's consistent. Meaning, on the first sub 1s, and the second subs, okay, they are the same. Pareha silang k. Pareha silang ng value ng k, okay? So, um, we will denote k as just plainly k, okay? Now, you have your given and you know what is your missing. You are missing k and we are missing y sub 2. You will check the given. Which one is the best, um, equ oh, which one is the best given to solve? And the best given to solve will be depending on how many is missing, this one has two missing, and this one has one missing. The best one to solve is with the one missing. So, we will go with this one and not this one. Okay? So, um, going with our given, y is equals to kx, and our give, um, our value would be y sub, six, y sub 1 is equals to 6, and x sub 1 is equals to 4. Substitute natin on the y and x. Y would be 6 is equals to k times 4. Solving for k will give us k is equal, equals to 6 divided by 4. Interchange lang natin yung position. We can simplify this further, giving us 3 over 2. If we have 3 over 2 okay, as our k, then meaning all the k's here will now change. This would be 3 over 2 all the way. Okay, 3 over 2. Now, we go to our second um, um, given, which is this one. Okay, in the second given, you already have, you, you just have one missing, which is y sub 2. So, what we need to do here is we just simply need to substitute all the values that we need. Like, um, we have x equals to 12 and, let, let me just put here, and k is equal to 3 halves. So, substitute lang tayo. y is equals to 3 halves times 12. And evaluating this given will provide us, uh, will give us 12 divided by 2, the answer is 6. And 6 times 3, the answer is 18. Therefore, your value for y or the missing or the last missing is simply 18. And you check your given. Are you complete? Do you have all the things that you need? Do you have any missing other things? Do you have any other missing terms? And if not, then you have already satisfied your direct variation problem. Okay? So, let's, let's go to the second um, example using the same method that we are using. Okay? 
So, let's go to number 2. Again, the first thing we need to do is check at the word problem and try to translate this one in a mathematical, uh, in the formula equation natin. Okay? So, let's read if A is directly proportional to B. Or, we can say it also as A varies directly directly to B. So, it's the same. So, it will give us A is equals to KB. Then, we have our formula equation. Let's try now to list down our given. A sub 1 is 25 and B sub 1 is 35. And A sub 2 is given, ito siya, 40. But the B sub 2 is missing. And lastly, we have our value for k. Our value for k is of course consistent for both, but it is also missing. Okay, the best one to solve obviously is the first one. So let's try to solve. A is equals to kb. Our a sub 1 is equals to 25. And our b sub 1 is equals to 35. Okay, so now let's try to substitute 25 is equals to k times 35. Sol for solving for k will give us k is equal to 30, 25 divided by 35. You will notice pinagpalit ko na. I already interchanged the position. It's okay because it's the same. And simplifying this one, divide by 5, divide by 5, 5 over 7. Now we know our k which is constant for every given. In number 2, we will have 5 over 7. Next one, we have our um, a is equals to kb still. Our a sub 2 now is 40. Our b sub 2 uh, is missing so we will not write that down. Our k, I think yes, our k is equals to 5 over 7. So a sub 2 is 40 so we have 40 is equals to kb right? kb, k which is 5 over 7 and we have b. Okay? Solving for the unknown, transpose to the other side. Okay, it will give us with b is equals to 40 divided by 5 over 7. Remember, when you are dividing, is you are actually multiplying. So, we need to reciprocate our denominator. 40 times 7 over 5. After you reciprocate, you will multiply and giving us an answer of 40 divided by 5. The answer is 8. Okay, and 8 times 7, oh no, I don't know the answer to 8 times 7. Let me get my card here. 8 times 7. Oh, the answer is 56. P is equals to 56. And this would be your final answer. So again, if you check, you're given. If you're already complete, you have no more missing. This is 56. Then therefore, you're already done with your variation problem. So, let's have another example. Say we have number 3. Again, formula equation. If W varies directly as Z, W varies directly as Z. Let me fix this a little bit. W varies directly as Z. Okay. And W is equals to 4.5. W sub W sub 1 and Z sub 1 is equal to 3. Okay, w sub 2 is equal to 1.5 and Z sub 2 is still unknown. Okay, it's unknown. Okay. Then we have the K which is consistent for both um, conditions. Okay. For both given. So, let's solve for the K first. W is equal to KZ. And our W sub 1 is equal to 4.5. And Z sub 1 is equal to 3. Substitute po tayo. 4.5 is equal to K times 3. And transpose. K is equal to 4.5 divided by 3. Giving us an answer of... Let me just get my calc U. So that we will be faster. The answer is 3 halves. Okay. So we have 3 halves here. I'm sorry, um, I should undo that. We have three halves. Okay, and next one. Solving for our, we already have our K. 
So, W is equal to Kz. And our W sub 2 is equal to 1.5. And our K is equal to 3 halves. Solving for the unknown, it will give us with 1.5 is equal to 3 halves times Z. Solving for the unknown, Z is equal to 3 halves, uh, sorry, 1.5 divided by 3, Z, uh, 3 halves. Okay? So, giving us 1.5 divided by 3 halves, I think the answer would be simply 1. And we now have our Z and we have our K. Then we are done with our example. Okay? And we have our last example being this one. If P is directly proportional to Q cube, the cube of Q. It's the same po. It, you might say it's confusing. P is equal to K Q cube. Then lang. You have to write it down properly. Okay? If P is equal P sub 1 is equal to 3, and P sub 1 is equal to 2. What is um, P sub 2 unknown if Q sub 2 is equal to 4? And then again, we have our constant which is the same for both given. Okay, now let's try to solve for our given. We have P is equal to K Q cube. P sub 1 is equal to 3 and Q sub 1 is equal to 2. Substitute po tayo. We will have 3 is equal to K times 2 cubed. And 2 cubed is just simply 8. So, transpose 8, it would become k is equals to 3 over 8. Our k. Okay? Let's now solve for the next one. We have p sub 2. Um, p is equals to k q cubed. p sub 2 is unknown. So, we'll not write that down. Let's have q sub 2. q sub 2 is equals to 4. And k is equals to 3 over 8. Substitute po tayo. P is equals to 3 over 8 times 4 cube. And let's solve. 4 cube is, I think it's 64. 64 divided by 8, the answer is 8. Yes, so this would be 64. This would be 8. And 8 times 3 is simply 24. Okay? So, again, if you will notice, class, the process is very repetitive. Paulit-ulit lang. The only thing that will be different is, of course, your given. So, I do hope that you have at least picked up the process that we are using. So, the very first thing that we are actually solving is for the K. And we are solving for the second missing one. Using the value of that K. Okay? So, if you would have any other questions, you can just um, go over our video again. And if you would have any other questions that is um, outside, a little bit um, not included in the video itself, you can ask me in our group chat. Okay? So thank you everyone for listening and Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.